Into this video guys, I will show you how to exactly install the iOS 17.7 uh, software update. Uh, so let's go ahead and get started. So first thing we're going to do is we're going to make sure that we've got enough storage into our iPhone to check how much storage you got. We're going to go to settings, scroll down to general, and then scroll down to iPhone storage. So here you will see how much storage you got. So I have 97.45 gigabyte. This is plenty of storage. So we got nothing to worry about. We're just going to go back. So now we're going to go to install the software update now. So we, to do that, we're going to go to setting. We're going to scroll down to general again. And then we're going to tap on to software update. Automatic update is on. So here I've got already on my phone 17.7 .7, the software update. So the good news is this has got 615 megabyte of storage, which is less than one gigabyte. And here I've got the upgrade to iOS 18. So we're not going to do that now. We're just going to do it 17.7. .7. So we just simply we're going to do update now. We're going to tap on it. And then I'm going to need to do my passcode. And here are terms and conditions. Just going to tap agree. Agree. Update requested. This is a four minutes remaining, which is good news. The file list was very small, so this shouldn't take more than five, six minutes. Uh, depending on your internet speed. So whilst we're waiting for my phone to update, I'm just going to tell you about iOS 18. Uh, people reported that iOS 18 has got some issues. Uh, for example, their phone got stuck, the battery uh, drains quicker, uh, and all sorts of issues. Uh, storage also has got big storage needed. You need at least four gigabytes of storage for the upgrade to iOS 18. So for me right now, I'm just going to wait for the next uh, upgrade, which is going to be iOS 18.1, something like that. So we don't want any issues right now. Also to give you a heads up about if you're thinking about upgrading to a iOS 18, something to bear in mind. So in the meantime, let's get back to the video. Okay, so we're just going to wait for the phone to restart. Uh, your iPhone has been updated to iOS 17.7. .7. Uh, the whole process took about uh, 10 minutes, 10 to 12 minutes, something like that. So let's just go ahead. We're going to need to go to tap our password in. There we go, just like that. So with the 17.7, .7, you can't move around your app your app icons as it was to 18 uh, so yeah all right guys i hope you find this video helpful thanks for watching see you in the next one take care